What's up everyone, Matt here from Native Instruments and today we're gonna check out the effect plugin Supercharger GT. The sound of modern tube compression taken even further with superior control, harmonic enhancement and sonic sculpting. Supercharger GT keeps you in the sweet spot with creative controls featuring multiple different compression, saturation and character modes. I have some drums from Battery, a piano from Hybrid Keys and some vocals all laid out in Ableton. Let's toss Supercharger GT on these tracks and see how we can use it as a utility tool and a creative effect. First, let's play back this piano and flip through a few presets. This preset's slamming the compressor, but I actually like how it sounds. The large knob in the center controls the amount of compression being applied to the signal. Here you have different compression modes which give you quick access to different attack and release settings. Think of it this way. Gentle is an all-around setting that works with a wide variety of signals, Punch is great for drums, and Slam is great for those extreme effects. I like how this piano sounds. Now let's move on to the vocals. So with the vocals, I want to sidechain a kick drum to Supercharger GT, so every time the kick drum hits, the vocals compress a little bit. To do this, I'm just using a kick drum from Battery hitting on quarter notes. Once you know what you want it to do, you can unarm the track so you're not actually hearing the signal from it. Now let's go back to the vocal track and select Supercharger GT. In the plugin window, I'm going to click the sidechain dropdown and select the signal I want to sidechain from. You can see on the meter and here as I turn up the compression knob, the vocals duck every single time the kick drum hits. By adjusting the attack and release knobs, you can control how fast and how long the signal gets compressed. By using the saturation knob, you can dial in the amount of dirt, warmth, and loudness to your signal. Let's try a few. You have three different modes. Mild is a nice way of coloring signals while retaining a clean sound. Moderate mode will tastefully add more noticeable harmonics, and if you switch to hot mode, you can get maximum saturation and audible distortion. For these vocals, I like how they sound on mild. Now let's talk about the character knob. This can be used to fatten signals that are lacking substance or to smooth signals that are too aggressive due to heavier saturation. You have three different character modes. Fat mode emphasizes the low and high end frequencies. Warm mode rolls off some of the highs while enhancing the lower frequency spectrum. And bright mode enhances the top end and attenuates the bottom end of a signal. This is great for making boomy instruments stand out in a mix. I think bright mode sounds great on this signal. Now let's play this back with the piano. This is sounding great, let's move on to the drums.
For the drum signal here, since everything's going to one track, I'm gonna select the preset drum bus. I made some minor adjustments to the attack and release based off how I want the compressor to perform. Now, let's talk about this wet and dry knob. You can use the mix knob to dial in parallel compression. The uncompressed signal will be mixed with a compressed version of the same signal. It gives the excitement of a compressed signal without losing its dynamics and transients. Even though this is a simple control, it's honestly one of my favorites. Previously, you'd have to route your drums to a separate bus, apply a compressor, and then you'd have to balance the level. This streamlines that process. Let's check out what the track sounded like before applying any instances of Supercharger GT. And here it is after. And that's Supercharger GT. Check it out today at nativeinstruments.com or get it as part of the Complete Now bundle. Stay tuned for more plug-in walkthrough videos to see what comes with Complete Now and how you can make most of all the included sounds.